Here is an example of how to find the null space of a matrix. By definition, the null space of A contains vectors x that are solutions to this homogeneous linear system, A times x equal to the zero vector. So in this example, we're solving the homogeneous system with the coefficient matrix 1, 2, 1, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 4, 1, 4, negative 1. The unknown vector x being x sub 1, x sub 2, x sub 3, x sub 4. And the right-hand side vector is the 0 vector, 0, 0, 0. To solve this system, we form the augmented matrix. And we'll reduce it to its echelon form. So this augmented matrix is row equivalent to its echelon form, which is 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, 1, 0, 3, negative 2, 0, and 0, 0, 0. From this augmented matrix, we can tell that the general solution to this homogeneous system satisfies x sub 1 plus 2x sub 3 plus 3x sub 4 equal to 0 and x sub 2 plus x sub 3 minus 2 x sub 4 equal to 0. So the general solution is x sub 1 equal to negative 2 x sub 3 minus 3 x sub 4, where x sub 1 is a dependent variable, x sub 3, x sub 4 are independent variables, and the other dependent variable x sub 2 can be expressed from this equation as negative x sub 3 plus 2x sub 4. So the null space of A is a set of vectors that are 4 by 1, whose components x sub 1, x sub 2, x sub 3, x sub 4 satisfy these two relationships. Namely, it contains all those vectors x that are 4 by 1, whose components can be written as x sub 1 is equal to negative 2 x sub 3 minus 3 x sub 4, x2 is negative x sub 3 plus 2x sub 4, and x sub 3 is free to take any values, and so is x sub 4. So the null space of A contains 4 by 1 vectors x, whose first two components can be expressed in terms of its third and fourth components in such a way. And to write this space in a nicer way so that its structure is more clear, we want to write this vector as a linear combination of a set of vectors. So from this expression, this vector is equal to negative 2 x sub 3 minus 3 x sub 4, negative x sub 3 plus 2 x sub 4, x sub 3 plus 0 times x sub 4, 0 times x sub 3 plus x sub 4, which means that is equal to the sum of two vectors, negative 2 x sub 3, negative x sub 3, x sub 3, 0 times x sub 3, plus negative 3 x sub 4, 2 x sub 4, 0 times x sub 4, and x sub 4, basically splitting this expression into two halves. From there, we can factor out x sub 3 and x sub 4 from each vector. So the first vector is x sub 3 times negative 2, negative 1, 1, 0, plus x sub 4 times negative 3, 2, 0, 1. So the null space of matrix A can be written as this set that contains all vectors x that can be expressed as a linear combination of the two vectors negative 2, negative 1, 1, 0, and negative 3, 2, 0, 1. And all the vectors satisfying this condition form the null space of A. So you can see that so you can see that the null space of A is the span of these two vectors negative 2, negative 1, 1, 0, and negative 3, 2, 0, 1. In fact, these two vectors form a basis for the null space of A. And because this basis contains two vectors, the nullity of A, which is the dimension of the null space of A, is equal to 2.